No, Japan was not a vegetarian nation before the 19th century and so-called westernization began. In this video, we are briefly going to be exploring this. Is this a major misconception? I will let you decide for yourself. But with the others focusing on samurai, I want to do something a little different. This video is part of the 2023 monthly Japanese history collaboration project between other content creators and myself. This month, we are covering misconceptions. The link to the playlist that includes their videos, as well as my own, will be in the, the link to the playlist that includes their videos as well as my own will be in the pinned comment as well as in the end card. There will also be links to individual videos in the pinned comment. I suggest checking out not only these videos but the others channels as well for a wide array of content. Thank you for coming to check out this video and let's get into it shall we? Many people have probably heard that for over a thousand years Japan was a nation of vegetarians. You may have even heard the less common but more outlandish claim that they were vegans. There is also the claim that they were mostly vegetarians vegetarian, which is closer to the truth, but it's not accurate either. Food and diet in pre-modern Japan is something I plan to cover later, but for now I want to introduce this misconception about a vegetarian pre-modern Japan. To clarify, I use vegetarian here as someone that does not eat the meat from any animal. When I use this term, I am not making exceptions for some animals that might not be considered meat. This is to avoid quibbling over semantics, and you may not agree with this. What the medieval Japanese diet was could be termed as largely pescatarian. The main source of meat for most Japanese during this period would have been fish, shellfish, mussels, crustaceans, and other animals that live in water. If one lived close enough to a coast, usually less than a day's walk, they might be able to get fresh seafood. Otherwise, saltwater fish and other sea life would have to be preserved. And the Japanese had ways of doing this using salt, rice, sake, miso, and others. However, these preserved seafoods would be quite expensive. For many Japanese that did not live close enough to the coasts, rivers, lakes, streams, and ponds became their main sources of meat. As one example, unagi is a freshwater eel that is very popular today. It is common to eat in summer as a way to deal with fatigue, loss of appetite, and other symptoms that were considered to be related to heat and humidity of summer. Whether this actually works or not, I am not arguing although it is tasty, but it is a tradition, and it is a tradition that dates back at least to the Manyoshu collection of poetry compiled during the Nara period, 710 to 794. This collection actually spans a period of centuries, well, supposedly, with numerous compilers, with the last poem being dated to 759, at some point after which was when the final compiler put it into the collection we know of today. In the Manyoshu, there is a poem, well, I, there isn't necessarily a poem, but it's mentioned, about eating freshwater eel during the summer to alleviate the symptoms. Although how it would have been prepared back then is different than how it is today. And if I recall, the word was different back then as well, but it is the same animal. Although fish and other water life were the main source of meat, there were other meats that were eaten. I am not saying that these meats were eaten with every meal, nor even every day, at least not in most cases. However, these were parts of the Japanese diet as well. Japan is a mountain Japan is an island nation that is extremely mountainous. The land is not well suited for large scale widespread rising of livestock. However, However, wild game animals were used as a source of meat in addition to the ones I previously mentioned. Hunting could be rather labor-intensive and produce unreliable results. So how often one was able to go hunting and how well they did would be a big factor in dictating when such meats were part of a meal. Among the warrior class, hunting and hawking were popular pastimes. Some of the common animals hunted in these outings were deer, rabbits, wild boar, and various types of birds. Duck was a common type of bird to be used for food, and it was hunted, and it was one of the few types of livestock that could be cultivated, kind of. Being birds, they would, you know, fly off, do their own thing, but they could be cultivated to some degree. However, chickens were not eaten as food until the Edo period, because in times before then, they were seen as messengers from the gods. Now, I am not sure when or why this shift happened to where their status was dropped from divine messenger to food. Sudu or crane, was considered a delicacy. High-ranking warriors and aristocrats would hunt these birds and give them as gifts. There was a culture of gift-giving animal meat and furs, which they obtained through hunting and hawking among the aristocrat and then warrior classes. A popular dish in Kai province, modern Yamanashi, in the 16th century, was hoto, wheat noodles in a miso-based broth with various vegetables. Meat from game animals would be added to it when possible. Wild boar was a very common one. You can still find ver versions with game meat today, although normal pork or chicken is far more common. Supposedly, during a banquet, 
Akechi Mitsuhide served funazushi, a type of dish in which the fi- funa fish from Lake Biwa is fermented in rice for one to five years. It is considered a delicacy in the Kyoto region. This produces a rather pungent smelling dish. Ieyasu was put off by this and Mitsuhide insulted him as an uncouth country samurai, which then resulted in a prompt beating of Mitsuhide by Nobunaga publicly. Oda Nobunaga, that is. <laughs> this is said to be one of the possible excuses for Mitsuhide's betrayal. Now, this is a story, so I want to clarify that. It's hard to say how much of that is true, but the history of Funazushi goes back well before this incident, with some people considering it the origins of sushi. There is a book from the Edo period called Ryori Monogatari. It was published publicly in the 1640s, with a handwritten version from the 1630s. It has multiple chapters on methods of preparing fish, but it also has a chapter on birds and another chapter on other animals. Uh, Again, I plan to cover this in more detail in the future. For now, I just kind of want to get minds thinking about this and introduce the idea. Usually, the wealthier and or higher ranking one was, the better access they had to various animals for food. However, even the so-called peasants would hunt, fish, and trap in order to eat meat when they were able to. To say that medieval Japanese were vegetarian, especially consciously or intentionally vegetarian, is not accurate. I wanted to make this video a little shorter and less technical. Again, please take a look at the pinned comment to check out which episodes for this month are currently available. The other channels have a lot more and better content than I do, so I suggest you check out their channels in general as well. If you have made it this far, I want to give you a big thanks. And a special thank you to my members on Patreon, Coulter Nebel, Roman Hunger, and Bushol for their generosity. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, please leave a comment if you have any thoughts or criticisms. Social media links are in the description. I hope you will come back for the next video. Until next time, take care, and please have a great day wherever you are. Otsukaresama deshita.